Hey guys, and welcome back to another Motivational Queen with me. Today I'm going to be sharing a two-day messy apartment attack. I'm attacking not only the messy areas today, but also the neglected areas around our apartment as well. When I'm getting back into the swing of things from being busy, under the weather, or even bloated because I'm a woman and we all know the experience that we share. But aside from that, when I'm getting back into the swing of things, I like to attack the areas that need my attention the most. This week I have some cleaning, some organizing, a touch of redecorating, and my husband and I will be transforming our living room before we add anything new like furniture, rugs, or whatever it may be. We also have some very special things planned for our babies and we need all the space we can get for them to express themselves how they see fit because this is just going to be epic for them. So we're going to just transform this space, move everything around, and just try to get to a comfortable like space, not only space, but also a comfortable head space with everything that's going on with motherhood, being a woman, being busy, Christmas time, the holiday season, just everything. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Fantasia. I'm the leading woman here in our tribe of six. My husband's name is Jake Wayne, and we have three beautiful babies. We've been married for three years and together for nine years. We share our everyday chaos, cleaning, organizing, decorating, and cooking. And if you enjoy motivation like this, I would love for you to join our family. Each week we get a lot done and we never know what life throws our way. So I try to take you guys along for the ride with us and also share the motivation, all the motivation that we can. So before you leave today, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any of our future uploads. So here's how the process is looking. We already knew that we wanted to put the couch against the wall that the TV is on. We had it in the middle of the living room, but we moved it because as y'all can see, it would have been blocking the tree. And then if we would have put the tree in front of the window with the couch here, the space would have just been too tight. So we only had about two options, which was put the TV on the wall or order legs for the TV and then put it on the TV stand and then place it in front of the window which really isn't a bad idea. I would suggest anybody doing that. I think it looked just as good, but we went with the TV on the wall with the swivel mount because that's what we have and that's what we want to continue working with, especially with the Christmas tree being here. So I had wrapped honestly all of these gifts right before filming this. We had quite a bit and still needed to put a few more things in our center bags. I share with you guys that we received a lot of things from family and friends. We still have a few things coming in from them from my mama, but I am just so excited to see their faces whenever they see what they have. It really do get my juices going on the inside like it did whenever I was a kid. Aside from that, we love the look of the tree in front of the window. We love to just watch TV and we love the fact that we can see the trees, see our kids playing, and just the whole view. Not only is the view important for us to be able to have in our living space, but it really did just mean a lot seeing our living room come together as much as it could right before Christmas. It'll give us the opportunity to feel as one and together in this space. And I just can't wait to see this space in other seasons of our life too. But for this season, I am so happy and just so grateful because that's all I could ask for in this holiday season, just to feel like we are as one and we are all together.
Okay, you guys, so this is where we are at right now. I know a ton of people are gonna say, um, what are you guys doing with the TV? You can't even see it. We're gonna get all the wall decor moved tomorrow, but this is where we are at right now. I have some things that I'm ready to share with you guys here in that box. Underneath that, we have some things. Simon's house. And then over here, we have some laundry. And then, of course, we just have, like, the presents and the tree. And I really love how it looks, y'all. It looks so freaking cute. So, I'm probably gonna add the shelf right here. So, here's how it looks. I have to sweep the floor. We are gonna be switching out these bar stool chairs for some upholster chairs, so I'm excited about that. And then we have the TV stand and a turtle tank right here. I'm gonna try to put the clock where the gallery wall is. The TV is gonna go where the clock is on a swivel mount. And then, yeah, so here we go. Here in our dining room, Jacob went ahead and took the trash out. But here's the shelf, and then we have the stand. This stand right here used to be in our living room, but we're gonna to try to keep it in the dining room. And there's that. I shared in our last video that we moved the shelf that you see here. We originally wanted to add it to the living room, but we weren't really in love with the look, so we moved it elsewhere until we figured out the best plan for it. The shelf being next to the door, it didn't look bad by any means. We just weren't really in love with the look. We felt it kind of closed the space instead of keeping it bright and open. So we moved it upstairs and then moved our old entry table beside the couch underneath the clock. We weren't planning on doing this, it was just an ad that we thought of in the moment, but it looked good and we didn't want to move it so we kept it here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the gallery wall down so we can go ahead and get that moved. In our dining room, we're gonna finish up by sweeping and then move the craft station and the open stand that we have. We wanna just go ahead and move that in the place that we want it to. We did add curtains to our dining room the next day, which really brought the space together. If you were here for my last video, then you probably saw it. We still have a lot more to add, like hooks and things like that to hold it up better, but it looks really good to us and we're probably not gonna change it for a long time. We've had the dining room curtains that you guys are gonna see later on in the video. We've honestly had them for about two years now, but we've never put them up. And now that we do have them up, our dining room, like our dining room, it looks so put together and I just love it so much. Our living room curtains, we got them from Walmart a few weeks ago, but the curtains that you guys are gonna see in the dining room later, we got those seriously two years ago.
after 11, I just wanted to call it a night. Since I had gone to work early that day, hence why I'm wearing all black, I just wanted to get caught up on some sleep. And like I said, I did have to go to work the next day. So the next morning, we got up and finished our cleaning, decluttering, and redecorating. Our hallway was a mess per usual. Honestly, it's like whenever I'm filming and I'm not upstairs, the kids have parties, like I promise they do. But if it's not them doing that, it's honestly Jake and I, we don't straighten up the upstairs and it gets cluttered fast with dirty clothes and toys and crafts and things like that. I'm gonna clean and freshen up the space with carpet freshener. I'm gonna hit the walls and door handles. I shared earlier, I did have a cold, so I wanted to hit up those areas as I went along today as well. Once we're done, I'm gonna vacuum and then we'll head downstairs to finish.
So we went ahead and picked up some Arm & Hammer Extra Strength OxyClean Carpet Freshener. We picked this up from the Dollar Tree. Y'all, I promise we are there like every other day. Anyway, we picked this up from the Dollar Tree. We really love this. It smells really fresh. We've been using this since we were kids. Honestly, I remember my mama using this as a kid. And I feel like whenever you clean carpet or anything that has a rug or anything like that, when you use carpet freshener, it just gives that fresh aroma and that fresh feel after you vacuum. Here in our dining room, I'm going to set out our decor how we want it so it looks nice and then pick up all of our extra things. We've been working on how we want our space to come together and adding this open stand in here. Honestly, is what I should have done all along, but it's here now and I really love how it looks. We still do have plans to paint it, but I'm going to hold off on that because we got some new things in the mail recently and I love the look that I'm seeing right now. So I want to keep this look until, you know, it's time to switch things up. I'm thinking you were made for me It's not in my birthday yet Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of Our shelves in the kitchen has been bare for a long time. I originally wanted to add cute decor here, but I'm using it for my Cricut machine, copy machine, and other craft things. This is honestly kind of like my interpretation of like a butler's pantry. This cabinet of shelves right here, it holds everything I may need to grab for work, the kids, crafts. Also, if my husband takes a glance, he'll see what our weekly menu is for dinner. So I'll be sharing more of this organizing setup, but for now it came together perfectly. I added the baskets to help with the storage and also to hold a lot of our cords and other things that aren't just like appealing to the naked eye. I just put them in a basket so they look really nice. Cause I got the system my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chances say I'm nothing for us
Moving into our kitchen, it's a mess after having four kids to feed and run after. So of course I'm gonna go in with my usual routine, but today I'm also using some disinfectant wipes. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. What's your type? Somehow I want to know all about you. Deep connection, lights a spark. You already know me. So with us being so busy, I'm surprised our stove looks this good because we have been cooking every single day and our kitchen has been wrecked. A couple nights ago, we made chicken and dumplings and it turned out so good. I cannot wait to share the recipe with you guys. For right now, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe our stove down with some disinfectant wipes. We've been getting our disinfectant wipes from Winco because they come in such huge containers and for a really good price. So we've been picking them up from Winco. So I'm just using those wipes to wipe everything down and disinfect it. We come alive in the night you and I.
So while my husband is working on our wall decor and TV, I went ahead and tackled our closet in the living room. If you've been here, you know it's been a wreck for some time now. It's supposed to hold my cleaning tools, but it currently holds our kids' craft, cleaning tools, decor, a storage bin full of random things, and honestly so much stuff I can't even think of. Y'all, even my daddy bag is in here, and I don't even know how it managed to move like homes with us, but hey, here we are now. So I'm just going to go ahead and attack this very neglected closet and make it functional for us and my cleaning tools. I have a lot to unpack and sort through, but it wasn't much of a challenge. I was just excited to get it done. So here's how the closet turned out. It was a lot more functional for us. It held everything we may need to grab for cleaning, ironing clothes, stroller, diaper bag, and some extra storage bags that I'll need in the next few days. So here we are in the living room and here's the swivel mount up close. I wanted you guys to see this before I move on to the powder room. Here in the powder room, I had a ton of my hair things. This is honestly the normal mess for me when I do anything to my hair. I have noticed I don't have much counter space, so I've come up with some ideas to help out with that. I've been looking online for the perfect pieces for this space, and then when I find them, I can't wait to share what's next for this room because it's going to be amazing. I can literally feel it on the tip of my tongue, y'all. Today, I'm going to be adding our five drawer dresser in here. It holds all of our hair products and things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it to our bathroom so it'll be in arms grab length instead of being all the way upstairs. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean and disinfect.
since I don't always use our steam mop in here, sometimes I will disinfect our floor and clean in Cinderella style. Reason being is because I haven't gotten any new mop heads and I don't have enough to switch out throughout this home yet, so it's just Cinderella style for now. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. Since I didn't finish the bathroom myself, I had to step out for a bit. Jake one just stepped in, wiped the mirror off, and then switched out the trash can that was in the bathroom. So right now we have made our way back into the living room. The school books and crafts that our babies had in the dining room and in the living room closet, I took out to reorganize in a much more functional and practical place that also hides what we have. Right now, our TV stand is the best option. It doesn't hold anything right now. It's, it currently is just a dust-filled mess. So I'm gonna wipe it down and get it together for our babies. While Jake was putting the clock on the wall, I wanted to switch up our decor a tad bit and move it around. I added the lamps from our bedroom since we don't have much light in our living room. And honestly, I am so in love. I've moved things around many, many times, but this time moving things around and just creating the space in our living room, it felt so good and it felt so beautiful and it looked so beautiful. I was so happy. So once I had the TV stand all cleaned out, I wanted to go ahead and go back in with the kids' crafts and books and things like that. I felt like this would be a much more practical place for all of us because the kids will be able to just grab it and go. And also this TV stand, it hides everything that we have going on. So if there is a mess, you won't know about it. But not only that, they can just grab what they need and they can either go to the living room with the stand that we have in here, you guys will see that later, or they can go into the dining room or wherever they need to go.
Here's the stand that I was talking to you guys about that the kids can use for their schoolwork. Right now, we just have Simon's bed right there. I decided to keep it super simple. We have the houses that we use to put candy in, and then we have a candle in a picture of my grandma. And I just wanted to keep the space like open just in case we needed it to do anything. Lastly, beside our front door, we really needed an entry stand so that we could drop our keys off. So I added this five chest of drawers and it really was the perfect fit. It was still cleaned out, so I'm sure moving forward we'll organize it with something. But here's the decor that I'm gonna be using to put right here on the stand and I'm really in love with how it turned out. I didn't add much. Again, I wanted to just keep it really simple, but I did add those seasonal pieces for Christmas since Christmas is literally tomorrow. So once I was done with the entry table, that completed today's two-day messy apartment attack, home refresh, and transformational video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and it gave you some ideas and some motivation to get some things done around your home. If you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And without further ado, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!